Prem Seva Lalasa, yearning for loving service. In this verse, Srila Rupa Goswami prays to Sri Radhika's maidservants. The blessed service of the divine couple can never be attained without the mercy of these maidservants that are absorbed in the flavors of this devotional service day and night. So here we can see that we only can get Manjari Bhav by the mercy of those <laughs> who already have it. We cannot attain it by our own endeavor. Jesus is teaching that we have, we should love God with our full heart and mind and soul and with our, all our strength. But how is it possible if we don't have any information? about the object of our love, if we don't know about God, how we can love him so completely with all our heart, mind, soul, body, with everything completely. We need information about the beloved then we can love. So already this information is the mercy of Rupa Goswami and other Goswamis and all our parampara that we get information. And that we start feeling attraction to that kind of love. First, we listen about Raga Bhakti. We are introduced in the Vrindavan mood. How sweet is the behavior, the dealings of the Brajbasis with Krishna. And then we learn about the sweet service of Radharani's maidservants. They are the most special residents of Vrindavan. They are very dear to Radharani. And we start liking that. What kind of services they do. And they reveal Rupa Goswami and all our acharyas, they reveal the dealings of Radha and Krishna. How they behave with each other how playful everything is, how sweet everything is, how romantic it is, what is their relation, that they actually have a forbidden love, 
So all that is already revealed to us by the mercy of the Acharyas. Because of this information, we start liking that. Ah, yes. <laughs> that is nice. I also want that. Everything about Radha and Mohan has the power to catch our heart, to touch our heart so completely that we can start loving. How we can love if it doesn't attract us so much? So, recently, I thought about uh, yeah, the mercy of Radharani, let's say, <laughs> like this. And something came in my mind. So, in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna say that he appear in every yuga to kill the demons and to protect the devotees and to establish the yuga dharma, the practice for the yuga. So, Krishna is the avatar, incarnation of God for Dvapara Yuga. But he appeared at the end of Dvapara Yuga. The Dvapara Yuga is like 864,000 years. And at the end Krishna appeared. So there was no need to bring the Yuga Dharma because already the Yuga is at the end. But he and Radharani decided to reveal Vrindavan to the world, to us. There is no need to do that. For killing the demons and protecting devotees that any other incarnation also can do. So it's already the mercy that Vrindavan was shown to us the mood of Vrindavan that is never before revealed. And that happened at the end of Dvapara Yuga and at the beginning of Kali Yuga 500 years ago again Yuga Avatar appeared Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So Dvapara Yuga is 864,000 years, Kali Yuga is 432,000 years, 1.3 million years. But in a very short time of 4,500 years, Radha and Krishna appear and showing Vrindavan. And 500 years ago, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared to bring us there. So in a very short time, compared to 1.3 million years, they came, Radharani came two times. 
first to reveal Vrindavan and then to bring us there. That is a mercy that never happened before. We are living in very special times. Gurudev, he say, 1996, Prema Yuga has started. <clears throat> Jai. Someone want to share? Please share someone also. So, we need the mercy from those who already have that mood. Otherwise, it's not possible. But what is that mood? What is Manjari Bhav? In general, basically, the Manjaris are very near to Radharan. Radharani is the supreme female, feminine. What is this feminine mood? What does it mean? First of all, the jiva, our nature, is also female nature. The jiva belongs to the prakriti. It's a shakti, tatashta shakti of God. So every jiva is female. By its nature, by the mood. There's only one male and that is Krishna. All others are female. Even in spiritual world, you may have a male form, like the friends of Krishna or Nanda Baba, but the nature is feminine. What is that nature? Nature is to love only. Female nature is love, giving love and affection. That is Radharani. She is the supreme female. And Krishna is the only male means <laughs> he is God. He is the controller. He is a purusha, the enjoyer. He controls. But in Vrindavan, he is coming under the control of love. In Vrindavan, the feminine mood is ruling, the sweetness is ruling, the playfulness, the loving dealings. And Krishna, the supreme male, the supreme controller, he comes under control of that feminine mood.
And that feminine mood is to love. The function of the soul is to love. Bhaktivinoda Thakur say, love is our religion only. And we want to get Manjari Bhav. So we have to adopt, we have to practice this nature to become more feminine. <laughs> Means give up our mood of controlling. コントロールしたい、支配したいという。そうですね。いや。In <笑> the material world, every jiva has a false ego. Doesn't matter if we have male or female body, but everyone has mood has the mood to control male nature. We want to control the material world. The material energy should serve me. I want to fulfill my desires. I want to manipulate everything in my direction. That is a false ego. Our true ego, our true nature is loving. The nature of the soul is to love. So if we try <laughs> to control everything in our life, in our sadhana, we go against our nature. If we try uh, to control my mind, if I try to control my senses, if I try to control everything, I am doing bhajan. That is 100% male mood. I do, I control. And it is against our nature of the soul. <clears throat> so we are struggling with that. We try and try and try and want to remove our anathas, <laughs> this and that. But we have to go in the female mood, absorb ourselves in, the, in our true nature. Nature is a soul and if we want to become Manjari, in the nature, in the moods, in the feelings of the manjaris. That is similar to Radharani's mood. Only give love and affection. To give love and affection is our nature, our function. Please someone share. <laughs> Chayananda, where are you? Gurudev, Gopinath. <clears throat> so in Vrindavan, everyone has this mood. Doesn't matter if the form is male or female. Everyone only thinking about happiness of Krishna. Everyone only want to give love to Krishna.
even the clouds, the peacocks, the birds, the flowers, the trees, everyone has female nature. So Gora Chandra. Hi. Did you hear? Rade. Hi. <laughs> so sorry. Now our internet connection is not good, especially basement. So we are now in Guru David's room. Jai. So you share very nice. And yesterday Uddavaji also share very nice. I I forgot many things, but Uttamaji say like uh, in the fish in the water. This water is not uh, material water. <laughs> and and so much rasa and spiritual flavor, rather rasa. So that fish in the water, fish does not think. I'm in the water because so natural. So he's forgetting I'm in the water. That is Uddhavaji say yesterday. And uh, I was a little bit meditating, like, uh, so today we are leading Pirapak Sumanjari, uh, 77th bus. And this, uh, Ananta Das Baba was saying, Krishna Bhakti is, is there, but Radha Bhakti is more difficult to attain. Krishna Bhakti we could attain. We may attain Krishna Bhakti, but Radha Bhakti means Manjari Baba. That is very difficult to attain this. The wiser. And Baba mentioned, if we have slightest desire in this material world, then we cannot attend. <coughs> Baba said, we have to give up everything in this material world. And then Baba said, Tabai was me, Tabai was me, Najiva me, Tobai So I'm yours, I'm yours. I cannot live without you. So that is mood, is Manjari's mood. Manjari does not think about Mohan. Its center is completely Swamini. So Manjari may think Mohan, Krishna. At that time, on behalf of Radhika, I'll act for Radhika. Not myself. And this Manjari Baba is very, very, actually, very, very difficult attain. And also does not reveal another, another age. Only this age, Radharani or Mahaprabhu in the form of Mahaprabhu, Krishna took Radha's Kara and Radha's Baba. At that time, we could see, we could feel, we could experience. At least, we could attain through Chaitanya Charitamrita or some books Goswami's left for us, like Birapak Sumanjari, like Utkarika Barari in this book, and also Radha Rasasudani. 
So, Gora Chandra say very correct. Only possible to attain this Radha, Radha, Radha's made servants, Baba. Baba Urasarati, and Manjari Baba. Is only possible. Is by the mercy of Rashka Vaishnava, someone who attain Manjari Baba, or somehow get mercy from Radharani or Radha's maid servants. And last time we went to see. Uh, Mahanidi Madana Gopal Baba. And he also saying, Gurudev could fix us. Gurudev give us Stai Baba of Manjari. Without the help of Guru Manjari, Gurudev, it is impossible for us. So therefore, Gora Chandra said, correct. We need mercy. And also we need this kind of so much hankering. This book also say, Rupa Gosami is saying, or Raghuna Das Gosami is saying, when can I get this seva? Where can I get to see you? Where can I get to serve you? It's very, very strong hankering, longing. Because that's a strong longing, greed, greed need. Why is that? Because in this material world also, we can get whatever we desire. If we don't desire, even material thing also, we, we may not get it. So how to speak spiritual things? And we understand why Raghunath Das was so much crying. Even Rupa Goswami, Rupa Manjari, Rupa Goswami also crying. Because for crying for this Manjari Baba, crying for the service, Radha Dasi. If too much crying means we burn out material desire, then only we want the service of Rashi Matera Dharani. That's one point of this. Guru Dev is always stressing one point. Of this. And today I was thinking, so we are dreaming. Daytime we are acting. At that time we forget our dream, which which dream to you know last night we 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 dreamed. And if completely in the dream we forget this body. So similarly, if we always thinking Radharani or Radha Seva in our Swarupa Besh, then we forget in this material world. Like Uddhava Ji said, we forget everything else. Even we forget I am in the water. And Uddhava Ji said, love is everywhere. <coughs> So, Radha Rani's love or Radha Seva is actually everywhere. Radha Dash is everywhere. Mm. But the problem is we have ego. <coughs> like in Brindavan, today is a little better, but uh, this three, four days ago, so much folk there in the morning and evening, we could not see properly. So this is our situation. And by the mercy of Gurudev, Gurudev could, 
Gurudev say this morning. So I want to share it with me. So Gurudev told us churning ocean of milk. Churning ocean milk is like our sadhana bhakti. If we churning means we do bhajana kriya, we start to bhajana kriya, then many dirty things are coming out, many anarta is coming out. Sometimes we could not, to, we don't want to see reality. Oh my God, I am so much dirty thing in my heart. That is a kind of poison. So churning the ocean milk at first, poison is coming out. Then demigods or even demons, they don't know what to do, what to deal with this, this, this poison. So dangerous. We cannot deal with this. Then demigods pray for Lord Shiva, Mahadeva, Please help us. So we cannot do this poison, this very dangerous for us. You are greatest deva. So please help us. And Guru then mentioned, the Shiva represents Guru Tattva. So Shiva is very kind for all living entities. Even Shiva is kind for even ghosts or very lower living entities. So he drank the poison, but he cannot drink completely because in the heart, Radha Mohan is there. So that poison disturbs Radha Mohan. So Lord Mahadeva, Shiva, is let the poison stay in the throat because he cannot, he does not want to enter in the heart. So Gurudev also, sometimes Gurudev drank disciples ahankara poison. So therefore, sometimes Gurudev becomes sick because of this poison. But so merciful, Gurudev so merciful. And then, slowly, slowly, so many things are coming out, churning ocean milk. Many horses coming, eight kind of horse, and so many money, jewelry also coming, mm. some opulence coming, some fame is coming, many, many subtle things also coming. And if we attach, then we cannot attain the next Amrita. In this case, this Amrita is Manjariba. So finally, we don't care all these material things. We want only nectar, amrita, and that person by the help of Gurudev and Radha Moha, that person can get the nectar. So this story Gurudev uh, told us. So. This is one point on this for Amrita, Manjari Baba. Just uh, I want to share. Rade, rade. Thank you very much. Mm. Someone else? Yeah. I continue reading. <clears throat> the blessed service of the divine couple can never be attained without the mercy of these maidservants that are absorbed in the flavors of this devotional service day and night.
to become a manjari, we have to follow the manjaris. What they are doing, he has written. They are absorbed in the flavors of devotional service day and night. That is what they are doing. They are loving. They love. They give affection. <laughs> love and affection. That is all what they do. They absorb themselves. I listen one interesting thing about Sri Lana Ryan Maharaj. One devotee went to him in Mathura when he was in Mathura and he listened class from him that time and in this class Narayan Maharaj said I never tried to practice sloka number one of Upadeshamrita control the mind and the tongue and the anger and the genitals. Narayan Maharaj say, I never try to do that. I only try to serve my Gurudev, to please my Gurudev. I absorb myself in that. And surprisingly, by this, my mind and my senses became controlled. I don't need it to do it myself. I only focus to please my Guru Dev, my Guru Manjari. Then my mind and my senses, they became controlled. Some say, first we have to purify, take out our anatas and then this and that, and then we can start doing bhakti. But it makes no sense at all. Without bhakti, we can never control our mind and our senses. Without bhakti, it is not possible to control the mind and the senses. That is Krishna teaching in Bhagavad Gita, very difficult. All the yoga practices and this and that never happen, especially not in Kali Yuga. Only go in the loving consciousness of your Swarup, of the soul, and pray for the mercy, connect with Guru, with that personalities who live in the love, who live in their spiritual identity, to please them, connect with them, adopt their mood, follow their instructions. Purification will happen. By their mercy, not by my endeavor. Mm. Srila Rupa Goswami is himself Rupa Manjari in the eternal Braja. But still he is praying like this, just to instruct those who aspire for Manjari Bhav. Srila Narottam Das Thakur described in his Pratana Giti how the blessed service 
of Sri Yuga Laki Shore is attained under the direction of Sri Rupa Manjari. Sri Rupera Kripayeno Ama Prati Hoi Sepada Asraya Yara Seya Mahasai Prabhu Lokanata Kobe Sange Loya Jabe Sri Rupera Pada Patme More Samar Pive May I get the mercy of Sri Rupa? Anyone who surrenders to his or her feet is a great soul. When will my master, Lokanath Goswami, take me along and submit me to Sri Rupa's lotus feet? That is Parampara. When will my Gurudev bring me to Rupa Manjari? My Guru Manjari bringing me to Rupa Manjari. I'm reading Bangla for Gurudev. <laughs> e Navadasi Boli Shri Rupa Chahibe E no Shubakshana Mora Koto Dine Hobe Shigra Agya Kori Ben Dasi Heta Ai Sevara Suzajakarya Koro Hotvaraya Anandita Hoya Hia Taru Agya Bole Pavitra monete karya kori bo takale. Sevara samagri ratna tale te koriya. Savasita vari swarna jari te puriya. Don hara samukke loye dibu sigrara sigragati. Narota merada dasa kobe hoibe emati. Shri Rupa Pasate Amiro Hito Pita Hoya Don Hepuna Kohi Benama Pane Chaya Sadayari Dae Don Kohi Benahasi Kotai Paile Rupa E Navadasi Shri Rupa Manjari Tabe Don Habakya Suni Manjulali dilo more e idasi ani ati namra chitta ami ihare janilo seva karya diyata behetaya era kilo he no tatva don hakara sakshate kohia narotame seva ya dibieni yukta koria When will that blessed moment come when Sri Rupa Manjari will look at me and call me this new maidservant, quickly ordering me, O oh Dasi, come here, quickly get the paraphernalia of your service. Oh. Rupa Manjari will say, oh, my new Dasi, please, quickly, take your paraphernalia for service. I'm recognized. I'm accepted. My heart will be filled with joy when she orders me like this. And I will render my service with a pure heart. I'm ready to serve and when I get service, I will do it with a pure heart. Long time I'm waiting for that. Now, finally, I got it. With a pure heart, Jainanda explained, Nothing else is there 
Pure heart means I have no other hidden desire. Like molten gold also we listen many times. Hundred times <laughs> molten. Meaning the impurities go out when you heat the gold one time, two time, three time. Every impurity is burned. There's nothing else, only desire for service. I will keep my paraphernalia for service on a jeweled plate, fill up a golden pitcher, and quickly come before Radha and Krishna. Now, this is Bhajan. Narutam. Meditating like that. Oh, when will my Guru Manjari bring me to Rupa Manjari? And she will say, Hey, my dear new Dasi, come, start your service. And then you go. To Radha Mohan. This is a meditation of Narutandas. When will Narutandas attain that state? I will shyly stand behind Sri Rupa. As Radha and Krishna look at me again. They smile and ask Rupa with kind hearts. Oh Rupa, where did you get this new maidservant? Radha and Krishna seeing me now. I'm very shy. I'm standing behind Rupa Manjari. And Radharani and Krishna asking Rupa, where did you get this new manjari? No. Hearing their inquiry, Sri Rupa then tells them, Manjulali Manjari has given me this maidservant to bring her before you. Manjulali Manjari is Manjari of Lokana Taskuswami, Guru of Narottam Das Thakur. My Guru Manjari will introduce me to Rupa Manjari. Rupa Manjari will in introduce me to Radha Mohan. They will ask, Oh Rupa, where you got this new Manjari? Oh, <laughs> Manjulali, recommend. We need recommendation. If you go direct to Radha Rani, she will say, yes, yes. <laughs> I, will, I will call you back. <laughs> Very nice, you want to serve me, I, I will call you back. Then Radharani, she will ask. Ananga Manjari. Rupa Manjari. And they will say, yes, yes. She is very beautiful girl, very humble, very sweet. We want that she's serving you. Yes. 
I've come to know her. I've come to know her as a very humble girl. So I'm keeping her to serve you. Then Rupa Manjari engaged me. Then she, Rupa Manjari, engaged me, Narottam, in the devotional service of the divine couple, after personally telling them these things. The Manjaris have access to even more blessed services than the Sakis. This unique fortune of devotional service is clearly described by Srila Raghunath Das Goswami in his Braja Vilasa Star. I take shelter of Sri Radhika's maidservants, headed by Rupa Manjari, that always engage in serving betel leaves, massaging the feet, serving water, and arranging for the divine couple's secret trysts. These maidservants are even more dear to the great queen of Vrindavan, Sri Radhika, than the Prana Preshta Sakis, the girlfriends that are dearer to her than life. And Radharani is therefore not at all shy before them. This shows that the Manjari's position is more special than that of the Sakis. Furthermore, in Mukta Charitra, Sri Raghunath Das Goswami says, Although Rangana Mala another name of Rupa Manjari, and others, are Sri Radhika's most beloved girlfriends. They behave just like maidservants. And therefore, they are eligible to render services that even the Parama Prashtasakis, like Lalita and Vishaka, cannot enter into. So first of all, Manjaris are also friends of Radharani. They are not like maidservant like in the household. Cleaning and cooking and brooming and they are also very e extraordinary personalities. Radharani is a princess. And Manjaris are their friends. They are not like maidservants that rich people have in their household. They are friends of Radharani, dear most friends, but they serve her like maidservants. They easily could be Radharani's girlfriends like Lalita Vishaka. In Vilapko Sumanjali, this is offered to Tulsi Manjari by Radharani. You can be like me, like a girlfriend. 
you can also enjoy sometimes with Krishna. But Manjari taking this on her head. <laughs> Thank you, Radharani, for your kindness. You offer me your friendship, but <laughs> I want to be your dasi only. That is my desire. Because of this mood, this Bhavulas Rati, that they have far more greater love for Radharani than they have for Krishna. This makes them reliable. Their staiba, their fixation and service to Radharani is unbreakable. Kaur Chandra Bhaiya. Jai Ta Bhaiya Radhe. Happy New Year, first of all, to you. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you allow me, um, please. I just I'm waiting. To, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> so, um, you just mentioned so beautifully that um, the process that when Radharani is offering friendship to Tulsi, to the Manjari, and the Manjari very lovingly declines that friendship. She says, no, I want to be your maidservant, right? And Radharani is a bit astonished, no? Like, because actually she's offering her a very high position in the spiritual realm, no? But Tulsi answers, no. And then Radharani asks her, why? Like, why do you so much care for me? Why you want to be only my dasi? And then Tusi answers, because the day my Guru Manjari introduced me to you, I cannot change this anymore. And that brings us back to what you said now throughout today's sharing that it's given to us by Guru Manjari, by Guru Des mercy, this bhav is given to us, right? It's right. receiving that from Guru Manjari, from Param Guru Manjari, it's coming down to us, it's infused. So we actually have no choice, right? It's like Uddhav Bhaya says, actually we are fish in the water and why we want to jump out? If it's already there, you know, it's already given to us and it becomes more sweet and natural if we accept it, right? If we close all our doubts on this path, we just understand that it's actually, it's already infused in us and it's our natural position, as you also said, like, but still we are always, um, we tend to doubt and, uh, but when we try to meditate, like if we try to meditate what, in this case, Guru Manjari and Tusi Manjari are doing, they are helping us to be introduced, right? Like we cannot go directly, as you said. It's like when we are applying for a job and we would go with to the owner of the company, he would ask us who sent you, right? If we have a reference, a recommendation, the secretary first will ask, stop us, say what, whom you want to meet. We say we want to meet the boss. But then she says, like, who sent you? And then if we have a recommendation, then she might let us in. Now, if we have the recommendation, let's say the, the boss is a he, and we have the recommendation of his wife, you know, like already 50% is one. Like, you know, in German say, halbe Miete, like we're already in. <laughs> so if Guru Dev is our recommendation, we have to use that recommendation letter of Guru Dev. If we don't use it, we miss an opportunity, right, Guru Dev? <laughs> you give us a recommendation letter, the best letter, right? 
<laughs> but still we we don't use the recommendation letter sometimes we feel we can do it directly right this is why we believe in our Gurudev and we never leave him because by his recommendation all the way become clear. His guidelines how to move makes our life very clear. And he is sitting in our heart in a form of guide to show me how to move and how to take decisions and what to do now in all circumstances. And what he says. because I decide the goal. Mm -hmm. So he is very lovingly always take care. I want the job of maidservant. Maid I want to apply. Always he is caring mm -hmm. and loving because my goal is fixed. I need the service. I hope for crook for them. <laughs> He is, he, he push us. Mm. He is very heavy push us. <laughs> he try to push us, press us. We are little, <laughs> cannot breathe so much he press. <laughs> but we try to do it. Slowly, slowly, we sometimes Reject also inside, no, no, it's too much for me. It's really, but he knows uh, many tricks to <laughs> catch us and involve in that direction. He do all way. His love makes because he knows how wonderful the position is of maid servant. Yeah, that is the highest. He knows the we case. don't understand, but the highest is the maid servant. <laughs> and very relish, very relishing. Then you become viewer and they are doer. Mm -hmm. Gurudev is asking to go on, Gorachandra. Thank you, Dawa and Lila. <laughs> I see you. I think, I feel we are taking shelter of Gurudev, Guru Manjari, because she will introduce us. But there's also one other reason why we have to take shelter of Guru Manjari. 
because we are living under her umbrella. She will protect us also from Krishna. I feel that in the Diksha mantras, why Guru Manjari mantra we coming <laughs> for before we chant Gopal mantra? Try to do without taking shelter of Guru Manjari. Very easily, Saki Bhafe come. Who can resist this beautiful, naughty, blackish boy? Nobody can do that. <laughs> so, Gopa Mantra, Kam Gayatri Mantra, without taking shelter of Guru Manjari. Manjari Bhafa never come. Krishna easily will catch you. So she will protect us and she will introduce us. Introduce us and protect us. She will never leave us. Guru Manjari. The service of Radha and Madhava is their very life. The most coveted services come after Radha and Krishna have finished their vilas. Rati Rana Shrama Yuta Nagari Nagara Mukabari Tambula Yogaya Malaya Jakunkuma Mirga Madakarpura Milita Higata Lagaya Aparupa Priya Saki Prema Nija Prana Koti Dei Nira Manchai Naha Tula Lako Bana Hema How wonderful! is the love of the Priya Sakis. They serve Nagari, Radhika, and Nagara, Krishna, with millions of lives. When they are tired of love making, by filling their mouths with betel leaves and by anointing their bodies with sandalwood paste, Vermilion, mask, and comfort. Their love is so pure that it cannot even be compared to gold more than a hundred thousand times over. Manorama Malya Duhu Gola Pai Vija Vijay Sita Mridu Bata Sugandi Sitala Koru Jala Apana Yaiche Hota Duhu Santa. They offer enchanting garlands to their necks. Give them a cool breeze by fanning them and relieve them from their heated affliction by offering them cool and fragrant water. Duhu kacharana puna mridu samvahana kori shrama koro lohi dura ingiti sayana koro lo duhu satigana Sabahu Manorata Pura. 
These sakis again softly massage their feet and thus remove their fatigue. On their indication, they put the divine pair to rest and fulfill any of their other desires. Kushuma seje duhu nidrita herai sevana parayana suka Radha muhana dasa kiye herabo metabo saba mano dukkha. These girls that are totally dedicated to their devotional service then put the divine pair to sleep on a bed of flowers. All the mental distress of Radha Mohandas is mitigated when he sees this. The opportunity to peek through the latticed windows of the solitary Kunja to admire the sweet confidential vilas of Radha and Madhava and the opportunity to render confidential service to them at the time, at that time, is the very life support of these maidservants. On Radha's request, the other Sakis may sometimes act as Naikas, heroines, to please Krishna, but the Manjari never has this. At the end of the Utkali Kavalari, the last verses of Rupa Goswami writing this, he's praying and praying and his mood go up and up. Then in the last verses he say, I'm sitting here in, in your Vrindavan under a tree like he was living in Vrindavan, roaming around all the Leela places, searching for Radha Mohan, praying for Darshan. Then finally he is sitting and start talking to one Tamil tree and to the wines in that Tamil tree. And then he fell unconscious, like giving up the body out of separation. Then in his Swarup, he recognized one light coming to him, bluish golden light. Finally, Radharani is coming with Krishna. And she saying to her Dasi Rupa Manjari, why you are crying? I'm here. And Anandaras Babaji, he's writing so nice. Now he is not Rupa Goswami anymore. Now he is Rupa Manjari.
and Radharani has come to her maidservant. So then after completing Utkalika Valari, some days after Rupa left. Going in Nitya Lila. Manjari is serving Radha Mohan in the Kunja with millions of likes. <laughs> we just read. We are searching for millions of lives. <laughs> for love, for our true nature, identity as a soul. And they have no other desire than to serve life after life after life. Nothing else, nothing is left than that, only this. We tried many lifetimes, we tried this and that and, but everything get canceled out of frustration that happiness never came. When everything is canceled, remove, then we can also be one-pointed, life after life, only one desire. Shri Radhe. Also Mahaprabhu, <laughs> when Krishna, he wanted to understand the love of Radharan. So he he also had to give up his abhiman to be the supreme male, the controller. He also had to identify himself completely, 100% in the female mood, in the feminine nature of giving love and affection. He could not keep a whiff of controlling mood. So therefore it's Radharani. It's not Krishna. It's not Radha Krishna combined with the goal of understand Radharani's love. He had completely forget his Purusha Abhiman controlling God <laughs> to understand love. And he was acting like that. And people who saw him, they could not believe their eyes. He is so tall, golden form. Very masculine features, broad chest, long arms, <laughs> but 
behaving, walking like a female. Combined form of the most beautiful male and most beautiful female in one form, Goranga Mahaprabhu, but completely in the feminine mood, in the love, floating all the time. How beautiful is his dancing? Gurudev, I remember. You saw Mahaprabhu dancing. Can you share with us? If we could see it one time, everything we could forget everything else. I am very much loving with Radha Mohan. And I believe in everything I do, but I have no any connection with Mahaprabhu. One day I was sitting in the kitchen and all are doing kitchen and I am very taking the Maha Mantra and uh, it was so pure vibration that I forget my bodily consciousness and I start meditating in Radha Mohan. Then I see from Mohan and Radha one person is dancing coming out. Very exciting dancing. I never see that type of dance. Slowly, slowly, when I is near to me, then I see is a blue color dress, and then I said, "He is Nityananda." Where is Mahaprabhu? <laughs> then suddenly I see one from Radha Mohan again, one coming out. And slowly when he come near to me, I see the yellow dress and very beautiful looking. And very both brother are dancing so excitingly. I forget everything and I start looking to them. From that day I realize if there is no difference between Radha One and the Taika. Both brother is coming from Radha Mohan. There is no so you see Nita is an Angmanjari, sister of Radhika and Chaitanya Mahaku is Radharani and Krishna both. Mm. 
it was happening a teach to me. Suniti, so, you like to share something or Jayananda something? Dayanidi. Oh. Goravani. No, it's very beautiful. I have nothing. I am stunned. I am relishing in my heart all your beautiful words, so sweet and also go peanuts words and now good if sharing how Nitai and Gauranga came out of Radha Mahan. I am fully relishing and just drinking with the ears. Thank you. Thank you, Gora Chandra. We, uh, Thank you, Gora Chandra. Thank you for everybody. Thank you, Gora Chandra. Sadhu Maharaj, Jai. Thank you. Yeah. Maybe it's good to stop here, not to start new subject. <laughs>